Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling arise now I've previously made a video like this as well But I didn't think I did a good job at explaining the best blessing stones So I'm gonna be doing that in today's video So if you guys don't know what blessing stones is this is something you always have in the beginning of the game You will have this one over here. It won't be epic It'll be a rare version and basically it makes you immortal and then you also recover a bit of your HP as well, which is really, really good. But eventually, as you level up your Song Jin War, you level up your account, you will now start to unlock more slots. I believe the first slot you unlock is at level 50, and then 60, and then finally 70. Or yeah, I believe that's how it that's how it's done. So you need to unlock all the slots, and then eventually you have the option to start putting new blessing stones. Now, of course, you need to get blessing stones, and blessing stones can be obtained from various content in the game. And then you have to go over to the fusion section, go over to here. Oh, perfect! We're gonna do this right now. Fuse it and have the oh my flipping days. Why would they give me this one? Anyways, you have the opportunity to get something like that. And then you can choose. I believe there we go. All my days. Perfect. Can we get a new? Can we get something new, please? No. This is even. I hate this. This entire fusion section sucks. I don't care. It sucks. I never get anything good. Again, I it stopped me from getting legendary skill ruin, and it stopped me from getting a really good or new version of a epic blessing stones. I hate this. Anyways, I'm gonna be going over the best blessing stones. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more content on solo leveling. Alright, so if you guys don't want to miss out on future content on the game, make sure you are subscribed and make sure that post notification is on. Now, I will have a link down in the comment section and in the description of the video so that you guys can go ahead and support the channel by going over to the Netmarble content creator page where you can, you know, press a content creator to, uh, to support. And by supporting me, I can give back to you guys as well because I believe there's a lot of really good perks that I can give out to you guys. I believe coupon codes and more. So definitely stay tuned for that when that actually starts being given out. But go ahead and support the channel. We have a goal of reaching 20 by the end of this month. Right now, I believe we're at like 9 or 10. So guys, keep showing support to the channel. And we also want to get to 16k subscribers by the end of this month as well. So go ahead and keep pushing. You guys have been showing me amazing support. So a huge shout out to all of you guys that are continuing to support the channel. So Blessing Stones, as you can see, we just keep getting absolutely destroyed in here. Absolutely annoying anyways blessing stones i'm going to take a look at it from the rare version because most of you guys are only going to be able to get the rare version the legendary this is late game stuff so don't worry too much just take a look at the rare versions rare versions are basically the what, legendary epic and, and rare are the same type of blessing stones it's just the percentage are different so anyways okay we'll take a look at this one over here the blessing stone this one absolutely amazing i think this is one of the ones i just use every single time because just in case you kind of mess up you have this you know recovery stuff that helps you guys out so i always use this you can actually switch it out but i i i, I always use this unless it's a content i know for certain i will not die then i will change this but this is actually really good it's given to you for free and it's fine next up you have the speed one your speed will increase by eight percent your dash cooldown will decrease by eight percent not that great next we have the kakasha still uh your damage taken is decreased by six percent not bad but at the end of the day blessing stones are there well you should only really be using blessing stones that increases your damage so in terms of defensive this is good but you should not really be using this because survivability isn't really a main issue and it's just about dealing more damage Next up, we have this over here. When attacking an enemy who has 70% or less of the HP, the damage you deal will increase. This is actually pretty good. Um, let me take a look at this when it's legendary. So legendary, it goes all the way to 14%. That's actually good. That's actually really, really good, guys. But of course, the enemy has to be 70% um, lower, 70% uh, low in HP. So that's that's fine. That's actually pretty good. Really, really good. Next up, we got the tenacity. Your damage you take will decrease by 20% when you have 30. That's not good. That's what I'm going to say. Not that good. Next up, we have this one. The maximum HP is increased by 4%. This is for Song Jun Woo. Okay, just be, to be clear, Blessing Stones only affect Song Jun Woo. This increases his HP. Not that great. You don't want this. You want something that increases his damage. Next up, you have Camouflage. When you receive damage exceeding 5% of your max HP, you Camouflage for 3 seconds and recovers 2% of HP every 1 second. This isn't bad, but again, it does not increase your damage, so I will not be recommending this one. Next up, we got Bloodlust. When you are hit, it decreases your attacker's um, attack by 4% for 6 seconds. When you attack, it decreases 
their defense by 4% for 6 seconds. You can stack this as long as you can hit fast enough. This actually can stack. And I do think it's good. Decreasing the target's defense is actually pretty good. But if there's a if there's a blessing stone that says increase damage taken, that is usually better than decreasing target's defense. So um just to be clear. So yeah, it's actually a really good one though. It's a, it's viable, it's useful. Next up, we've got shot perception. Your crit rate will increase by 1% for 8 seconds when your, your attack hits. And you can stack this up to 4 times. Now, at low rarity, this isn't that great. So 1% for 8 seconds, you can stack it up to 4 times. A 4% increase in your crit rate, eesh, not that great. I can't lie, not that great. Not that great. But it is still useful. Again, it increases your damage, increasing your crit rate by 4%. It's not a lot though. So, yeah. Let me take a look at this at Legendary, actually. What does it increase to? 3 for 6 times, 3 times 6 is 18%. 18% uh, increase in crit rate, that's actually pretty decent then. But at low rarity, not that great, honestly. Next up, we've got Reawakening. This is actually good. Your cooldown is decreased by 8%. Now, this is actually really, really good. There is the new skill that came out that has a really long cooldown. So at Legendary, this is 20%. That's actually pretty good. The new skill that came out has a cooldown of, I believe, 20 seconds. So having a, yeah, 20 seconds. So having a blessing stone that can reduce the cooldown is actually going to be useful. So yes, I do think this is good. It does increase your damage technically. Next up, we've got Mana Rampage. Your attack will increase by 16%, but your skill mana consumption will also increase. Now, originally, when I made this video, oh, sorry, this is legendary. Scroll down. Originally, when I first covered Blessing Stones, I thought this was actually good because I thought mana consumption wasn't a big issue. But for content when Song Ju is staying for staying long on field, it actually does become an issue. So I don't really. I think this is good, but the negative part of it is kind of annoying. But in short rotations or short matches or short battles, this is actually very useful. But again, just be mindful of the mana consumption been increased next up we got the monarch domain so the shadows attack within the domain is increased by 40 percent the uh, this is usually okay so when you summon your shadows you're usually saving your shadows to the end of the combat where you're actually fighting the boss or the main boss so you can summon your shadow then you have this monarch um, monarch domain as well which increases the damage by 40 percent one issue i have with the shadows is that they don't last for too long or they die easily it's one of those two things so increasing the damage of the shadows is actually quite useful there is a couple of shadows that deal decent damage but again it's not really that insane you really want to focus on your son jiru to increase his damage not your shadows but then again this is still useful um the shadow also deals damage equal to 100 percent of the value of the attack every second to uh, enemies within the domain so yeah it's actually really good it's really good um so yeah it's actually pretty good next up we got the boss slayer your damage dealt to bosses is increased by 8%, but your cooldown of your dashes increases by 15%. Now, this is entirely based on the type of opponent you're going against. If it's an opponent where you don't have to frequently dash out of the way, this is actually viable. But if it's an opponent that moves about, attacks you frequently, this might not be good because you want to have dashes available so you can dodge out the way so that you don't die. So I do think this is a pretty decent one depending on the type of opponents you're going against the type of enemy but this is not a go-to blessing stones you would actually use next up we got the chain of blood so your attack damage is increased by 12 percent of your lost hp ratio but also increases your damage no <laughs> no 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 listen we already have too many risky characters like this you have to dodge frequently you must make sure you don't take damage because increasing damage taken does become a big issue especially if you're using um what's his face if you're using this guy as your support character he already increases the damage taken you take by by 10 percent so yeah adding on to that is not really that great especially when it, when you do have to lose hp as well so i wouldn't say this is the main one honestly uh, or a good one to be honest it does increase your damage but loss h based on your loss hp so yeah i think if you're if you're able to just maintain your hp to be at least 70 percent as well as being able to dash out the way you can actually benefit a lot from this but again it's a little bit too risky next up you got demon slayer now originally again i used to think this was op but i don't think this is that useful i mean longer longer matches sure 
but for now we don't really need this mp increase so right now it's sitting at the useless tier but i do think in the future this is going to be a blessing stone we might have to rely on often if we're going into content where the duration of the match is actually a lot longer and um, guessing this will be useful but for now i don't think it's that useful next up we got the conqueror of adversary every time your hp is decreased by 30 percent your attack defense nope listen no this is a like a contingency one uh no not contingent it's a condition one it's not really that good you need to you need your hp to decrease by 30 percent we don't really have a sustainable healer right now to keep you alive so yeah it says every time your hp decreased by 30 percent yeah no this is no for me next up we do have the wolf assassin the damage you deal to normal attack and uh, normal monsters increase this is good again conditional one where not conditional but a blessing stone you won't use all the time unless you are specifically going against normal monsters then you can actually use this so i guess normal monster definitely a, a a very very good blessing stone next up we got pulverize the damage or sorry the power of the break effect you apply to the enemy is increased by 12 percent the damage you deal targets affected by the break effects increased by 12 percent again i do think this is really good this is at rare so let's take a look at this when it's at actually epic let's take a look at epic first 18 percent. i do think it's good actually yeah i do think especially if it's an opponent that keep recovering the break bar i do think it's good yeah so i do think it's a good a good blessing stone next up we got oh this is the last section okay we got assassin proficiency i don't think this is that great honestly this only increases your damage when you attack from the back you're not frequently attacking from the back so not that great but can come in handy next up we got fatal strike your target's break gauge instantly decreases by two percent when you land a crit hit of course you need to have your crit rate be really really good on your song jin Wu, but this can actually come in very handy as well but i think having regular characters that can break or you're using the skills from song jin Wu that can break plus supports characters that can break is fine you don't necessarily need, need this blessing stone to break that actually no this will actually help you break faster of course but it's not really a must have in my opinion but it is useful don't get me wrong very useful next up we got weakness protect and uh, weakness detection and i do think this is actually very very good especially if you have the correct um skill on your song juru uh, I, I do think this is actually really good if you're using skills that are dark elements and the opponents are going against is weak to dark elements increasing that damage by eight percent is actually useful and now of course at epic it's 12 percent and at legendary it goes all the way to 20 percent so that's actually really good in my opinion again it's only something you use when you do have the appropriate skill and the appropriate elemental advantage so yeah that's worth noting but it's actually pretty good next up we've got hp extraction you recover 0.8% of your HP when defeating an enemy. Now, for now, I don't think this is that great because we don't really have a content that relies on this. But I do believe they are going to release a survival, survival match. Sorry, a survival game mode where you basically have to survive for as long as possible. So, yeah, having this skill or blessing stone might actually come in handy in the future. Where if we have a content where a lot of mobs are coming to us, we just have to survive. And if we kill them, we get a bit of our HP back i think this this can be useful later on but for now it's a no for me we have swiftness which i actually do use which increases my dash by one and there's a 12 percent chance of your dash cooldown resetting upon dashing i think this is actually very very good especially if you suck at dodging or if you're just the, uh, the, the you know if you're just beginning the game you're starting the game sorry um this can actually even come in handy for future content where the bosses frequently attack you and you want to have an extra dash just to be safe i think this is actually very very good and lastly we, lastly we have the double edge sword which when your attack hits your attack decreases increases by two percent for 10 seconds but the attack of the target also increases again i don't like skills like this because it leaves leaves you open to being one-shotted or being uh, taking damage too much so i don't really like that honestly but so far there's a pretty good amount of blessing stones that you you would love to use and have uh i think there was one that i don't have that i would love to have i think it's pulverize yeah i really want this one this is actually really good like increases your damage by a lot i really want that one as well yeah that's pretty much it in terms of the best blessing stones for your song jin rule 
most of the time the ones i use based on the ones i have it's usually this um but if i'm going to use content where i know i can survive i usually just switch into this one and i have the oh, correct elemental advantage i'll do this i think that's pretty much all i use i don't really use the shadow monarch where is that one there he is i don't really use this but it could come in handy as well and anyway, just go back and put this over here anyways that is it regarding the best person series for sung jin woo don't forget to like and subscribe it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out